What is up guys? Hope you're doing well. Hey, I want to share kind of a random testimony of a way that God protected me. Going back to, uh, you know, this is probably January of 2012. Senior year of high school. We uh, had a soccer game. The varsity squad out in Beaumont was about an hour and a half away, and um, I think we won, or maybe we lost. Yeah, definitely we lost. Now that I'm thinking about the mood on the bus ride home, but we get back to our high school, where the bus drove us from, at probably 1 a.m. I don't know why it was so late. But it must have been a late game, like a like a 9 p.m. game or something. I don't know. It doesn't make sense, right? Or maybe we had a shower for no, we didn't shower. Yeah. It's around it's around 1 a.m. when we get to the school. And there's a couple dudes that are like, let's go get Taco Bell. Now, I gotta say, I am not a fan of Taco Bell. I have a strong stance, which is, if you grew up in Houston, you don't eat Taco Bell. Because <laughs> you can get similarly cheap tacos that are so much better from any type of, you know, food truck type thing, you know? But, I stand corrected, because obviously these guys live in Houston. And I thought... You know what? These are pretty fun guys. And why not? Let's go get Taco Bell. Now the thing is, the Taco Bell, while being only a couple miles from our school, was in, you wouldn't really call it a ghetto, because it's too close to the main highway, I-10. But it's on the wrong side of the highway, for sure. <laughs> uh, definitely th this Taco Bell, if you lived there, you would have been zoned to Spring Hoods High School, aka Spring Woods. It's on Gessner, kind of in like, uh, again, not, not like super, super ghetto, but definitely low income, you know, a good amount of the, um, like the billboards are in Spanish, like it's, it's kind of a Mexican community. Um, but it's not really a community, it's like a business center, you know. Anyways, we go to Taco Bell. Like anyone would, you know, and, and we order some tacos. Like anyone would. We're still wearing our uniforms. So, that meant that we were in all blue. Blue shorts, blue socks, blue shirt. And we're chilling, we're eating our tacos, and then... No lie, guys. Absolutely zero cap whatsoever on this. Like, mm, four or five guys who without a doubt were legitimate blood gang members walk into this Taco Bell. It's probably 1 to 1.30 at this point. They've got red bandanas. They've got red, just kind of red accents all over the place. And as soon as they walk in, guys... They take one step and then just like I'll stare over at our table and look at us. And they're like not moving their stare. Because if anyone knows Bloods and Crips, okay, Crips are blue. Bloods are red. And they know we're not Crips, okay? There's no doubt about that. But they, <laughs> regardless, are not the biggest fans of the color blue in a not so great area of town at 1.30 a.m. on a Friday night. So they're staring us down and we're just like looking at each other like just eat your food, like don't, like we're like don't trigger, like don't, don't. This isn't play time, right? So it's all kind of chill. They go up to order, they sit on the other side of the restaurant, we're just eating our food. We're kind of trying to eat a little bit quick, but also like we're feeling a little bit less threatened at this point. And so we're just kind of eating it, right? And so here's what happens. They 
get out of the restaurant. I think they must have ordered their stuff to go. Because they get their bags, they walk out, and now they are outside of the restaurant at the window right by our table. And they're like yelling at us and taunting us. One of them like, I think he threw his drink at the window, just like exploded. And they're like, they're, uh, they're taunting at us to come outside so they can say something or see something. And we're like, no, we're, you know, so again, we're back in like frantically, passively, just trying to stare down at our food. Don't move, don't say anything. Like surely they'll go away. I mean, literally guys, this is really happening, you know? And I was just not, I mean, it's so, I, I wouldn't say I was like super, super scared because it almost feels unreal. Like I feel more scared looking back on it, realizing the actual intensity and severity of the situation. Like, looking back on it, I would have been like, let's call 911, you know? But in the moment, like, we're just like, hope it goes away. Like, surely they're just being, they're just being goofy, right? Like, you know, intimidation, I get it. Their blood's like, you know, but as long as we're not provoking them and we obviously are backing down and allow them to be the superior beings, then we'll be fine, right? So anyways, they do their taunting, that lasts a couple minutes, and then they all walk off, like, past our parking lot, past another parking lot, and we're like, okay, they're walking, all right. Then we're like, waiting for them to get kind of like out of sight, and then we're like, we gotta make a break for it, like, we gotta get to our cars. So we all like, run out of the Taco Bell, all go to our cars, and so we're pulling out of the parking lot, and literally, guys, as I am pulling out of the parking lot like six cars are pulling into the parking lot including these guys but now they have more bloods with them and I'm just like oh thankfully they did not chase us we've got out but man I I am thankful that we got out we weren't touched an uneventful story really just an almost eventful but thankfully not eventful story and god protected me and guys literally the next year freshman year at um at uh, a and m i would do a lot of my homework from like midnight to 3 a.m at this mcdonald's and guys literally people were killed in that mcdonald's parking lot like just the year before <laughs> like, because like huge gang hanging out in the parking lot and some random normal you know into the into society people who happen to also be white are just going into McDonald's to get some food and literally this gang kills them like for no reason unprovoked like essentially just like I don't know like it doesn't make sense right like what are you doing this is our territory right now or or superiority complex or you know maybe gang incentives for doing evil things you know I don't really know but I still uh, studied there all the time so obviously I didn't learn a lot from this Taco Bell experience too soon but I feel like now I would not be in that situation I think I've grown maybe it's kids you know it settles you down but I mentioned that McDonald's thing just to say, like, man, if we really did stay, like, and those six cars are pulling up with 20 of these dudes, like, uh, like, I just don't know how that would have gone, you know? Doesn't seem like it would have gone too good. So, so thank you, Lord. Hopefully I'll encourage. I think God protected me. He also protected my heart, even though we lost that soccer game. And, you know, we're, we're doing okay. We're out here about to drink some coffee. So that's all I got for y'all today. I'll talk to y'all soon. Life is worship. God is love.